I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I would like to walk with you through the container store. I recently took a field trip to the container store with a couple of my friends. It is about 45 minutes from where I live in Northern Virginia and we had a fabulous time exploring this beautiful and inspiring space. The truth is that the container store is a little bit pricey. Everything seemed to be in the more expensive range in my opinion, but after looking through the store, I think there are some worthy finds here, some things that are unique to the container store that are worth taking a look at. Keep in mind, if there's not a container store near you, they also have an online store that you can check out. But for right now, why don't you Sit down, take a load off, and follow me as I cover the seven things that I think you should purchase at the Container Store. The Container Store is known for carrying a huge variety of very unique containment solutions. So if you are looking for the just right container for something very specific, then that is definitely something you'll be able to find at the Container Store. I loved the variety of sizes and finishes in all of these different jars in the kitchen section, which of course can be used for craft supplies as well. And the same goes for these tiny solutions right here. These are fantastic for a craft space. My favorite find in this area happened to be this acrylic spice shelf. I'm a big fan of acrylic pieces in my craft room because it allows me to see the craft supplies even better. There was a huge variety of spice racks that you're not going to find at a normal store and you can find one that fits your aesthetic perfectly. I really enjoyed the display area in the kitchen section where the cabinet fronts and the drawer fronts were clear because you can see how these storage solutions work in real life in person and you can get a feel for if it will work in your space. Another cool feature is that in several parts of the store, the countertops were actually huge grids with measuring tables on them so you can check sizes. Now this is pretty specific, but I have never seen such a great variety of turntables and Lazy Susans. They had them in all different styles from the clear to the metal, plastic, wooden. All of these are fantastic for on top of your desk in a craft space because it really allows you to store a lot of things in one area and to just have ease of use as you turn the turntable around. Seriously, I haven't ever seen this many in one place. I think this is a fantastic store to come to or check out online if you are looking for this specific storage solution. Love this little baby one with the lip, perfect for holding craft supplies. Now, I mentioned before how I love acrylic containers in my craft room, and this place was like acrylic container heaven, especially in the kitchen section. There was a huge variety of containers, and even though they're all acrylic, there were some different styles. Some had rounded edges, some were more square. You can see some mesh ones mixed in here as well. But what I really loved was the variety of sizes and depths that was offered here at the container store. I am always a big fan of shopping the kitchen section for storage solutions because I think a lot of time and money has been spent on coming up with different storage solutions in the kitchen and those are easily transferable to the craft room. I love storing my ephemera pieces and project ideas in these acrylic containers because they're easy to move around, to stack, and you can still see what is inside of them. I really enjoyed that they had some smaller ones available because a lot of times I only have a few things but they still need a container. Here you can see I chose some of my favorite pieces and laid them out on the gridded tabletop that they had. I really like how these can be used in a lot of different ways. I can see journaling cards, paints, brushes. I love the one with all the slots like it's for mail and I can imagine some different card making supplies in there completely organized by color. The skinny one, I liked how long it was because it feels like you wouldn't waste a lot of shelf space with a short little container, but you could still divide up some of your supplies. If clear containers aren't your thing, there was also a gorgeous variety of colored containers that spanned the entire rainbow. I loved these. These would be a great pop in any craft room, especially if you like to organize your things by color. 
ribbons, sequins, ephemera pieces, any of that organized by color into these colored bins would be so gorgeous. And I'd also be interested to know if anyone had tried one of these shelf dividers in their craft room. I think that would be a fantastic way to keep everything in its place. Here you can see I found some more turntables, but also this clear tiered shelf. I love these type of things for displaying my paint especially so I can see all of the colors. This one happens to expand to fill up the space that's needed. Here I've moved on to the bathroom and vanity section and I'm finding a lot of smaller acrylic pieces that have a lot more dividers in them, originally meant for makeup or beauty supplies, but these also work fantastic for your craft supplies. I would imagine, especially with sewing, you would have a lot of smaller notions. I love the stackable clear drawers. They're gorgeous. And here they have a whole display on how you can work to fit them together. What I liked the most is that the top of each of these drawer sets has a little lip on it. You can see one that's tiered right here, but the other ones have lips on them. So you can actually have pieces scattered on the top without them easily falling off. And I think that is a fantastic quality for a craft room. This one is one similar to what I have in my craft room to hold washi. This one does not have the dividers in it, so it can hold a larger variety of sizes. But like I said before, if you're looking for a unique crafting solution, a storage solution, this is going to be an awesome place to come and check out. Clear storage pieces were definitely a trend that I saw throughout the whole store in every department. So make sure when you come, don't just stick in the office area, but check out everywhere, kitchen, bathroom, even garage, and you'll be surprised. You'll find some pretty cool and unique finds. It might seem odd that cabinet or shelf organizers are a different category, but I really think it's something that kind of amazed me at the container store, just the variety that was available. Really any of these shelves that prop things up off your desk will create more desk space, more workspace for you. They had several cool corner solutions, which I thought was really great, especially I happen to have an L-shaped desk, so the corner solution would work really well for me. Container Store even had its very own kind of pegboard system unique to them, including some very cool um, bins and shelves that worked within that pegboard system. So if it is something that works for you and fits your aesthetic, then by all means, come and check it out here. The other thing that I had never really thought of before when it comes to craft rooms are these shelf dividers. But as I thought about it more, all of those rolled up shirts really looked like yarn to me. And I thought, oh, what a great way to store your yarn and keep it organized by color. Or can you imagine kind of dividing up your shelf for different colored paper? Or I don't know, any, any kinds of different products. If you collect napkins for the tissue paper technique or any of those things, I think that um, shelf dividers can come in super handy for that. Here I'm back in the kind of jewelry organization section and I was obsessed with this acrylic necklace holder which I thought would be fabulous for your favorite washies. I know I have a bunch of washi but there are a handful that I use on a regular basis and that would be a fun way to display them on a shelf so that I could see them really easily. This is a shout out to all those crafters out there that have really small spaces. I know a lot of you have what amounts to a craft closet. And I think the container store offered a lot of great custom solutions to make a small space work for you. I loved these shoe boxes with the clear fronts. They actually open in the front so you can easily access things inside instead of having to unstack all of the boxes over and over again. And I thought they would be really great, especially for storing seasonal supplies. So you can still see your Christmas supplies or your fall supplies, but not necessarily have them out all year long. Can we just take a moment to imagine how gorgeous these displays would be if they were filled with beautiful art supplies? I know they are created for closets, for clothes, things like that but a lot of these solutions will work in your craft room, especially if you are working in a super small space. I love that this one had lights. Like you know, if you see my craft room tour, I like to display things as if they were in kind of a craft store because I find that super inspiring. I like to see my supplies. 
Most of these drawers pulled all the way out and there are lots of ways to divide up the drawers so that they work really well for you. Another cool thing about the different closet solutions that they had here at the container store were that there were a variety of finishes available. So if your crafting area is in a part of your house that is seen out in the open, then you can have it still fit the aesthetic of your house and not necessarily stand out, but it can still feel like your space customized for your needs. And if you're organizing in a closet and need baskets or bins of any different size, this is definitely a place to come. I like how these bins are open. You'll be able to reach into them and they all have lids available that are customized to the tops of those bins, which works out really great in a craft room. So things don't spill out as you're moving around. Like I said, any size you could possibly think of any finish, plastic, wicker, acrylic, all of the things here so when you're looking for something specific there's definitely going to be an option for you here at the container store this is going to make me sound completely crazy but i love the custom desk solutions here and i know from firsthand experience my husband and i used to live in a very tiny town home and when my daughter was born i lost i lost my craft room that was in that town home to turn into a nursery. We actually turned a walk-in closet in our basement, like a storage closet into a double office. And we each had custom desks from the container store that fit perfectly in there. And so he had a place for his computer. I had a place for my crafting supplies and it was amazing how it fit perfectly for us. This particular shelf kind of stood out to me because it was easy to manipulate. Plus, can you imagine being able to hang all different kinds of supplies and ribbons from the edges of that shelf? So wonderful. Plus, I really liked the clear acrylic wall mounted shelves that were available as well. If you're looking for a way to create a desk in a small, small, small space, I highly recommend the container store. It worked for us and it really helped us maximize the space in our tiny town home. Now it might sound a little bit corny, but there were a lot of really cute, unique office finds like bins and colors that you can't find in other places and really cutesy pins and notepads and push pins and magnets, just all kinds of things that you can use to customize your office to your own taste. Here you can see the variety of different push pins and magnets that they had. I love that it's just a variation of some classic office supplies, but as a crafter, I really appreciate that I can bring in my own personality instead of just buying the standard supplies that you can get at any craft store. So if I'm displaying my work on a cork board, I can use some gorgeous pins and not just have to use the regular push pins. I'm also a big fan of the magnets and I almost picked up those dinosaur magnets for my sons. They would have loved those. They also have a variety of magnet bars in different lengths. I know that those are also available at Ikea, but usually not in different lengths. I believe there's just one standard length there, but some different lengths available for your use to fit in your space. One of the other areas that I really enjoyed looking at were some of the center display areas were full of office supplies in fun colors and shapes. I was loving all the different post-it note varieties. I really liked these tabs, which of course would come in super handy in my Bible journaling and all the different pens and notebooks that you can try. This was great for stocking stuffers or a variety of calendars they had that would be great for the start of the new year. Just something that fit every personality and it was really fun to be inspired by all of the bright colors. Loved the giant paper clips. I thought of picking those up to make some gorgeous clips for journaling. I liked all the to-do lists and again, all the different notebook sizes, especially for men. I like some of the smaller ones. This one would be for my daughter. So cute. You get 10 notebooks for, I believe that one was $20, which was a pretty good deal. Anyway, I think there's a good variety here. And like I said, great for stocking stuffers or just for a unique present for someone. 
I guess I should not be surprised that the container store had its very own cart design like the craft carts we've all come to know and love. And this one had a variety of accessories that you could purchase to go with the cart, including a very cool sliding tray, of course bins that hook on the side, there's a wooden top similar to the one that is available at Michael's, and this plastic top with dividers, which I thought was pretty unique and something that I hadn't seen in carts before. I was a little obsessed with these metal drawers that came in such a huge variety of colors. Unfortunately, they were $99 a piece, which I thought was a little pricey, but it doesn't keep me from looking out for a sale because I'd love to have a set of these in my craft room, probably in turquoise. The container store even had an art section. So these little drawer cabinets are very similar to the ones that you can pick up at Home Depot for nails and screws and things like that, but they're in white, which is super gorgeous for any craft room. They had lots of plastic containers with the dividers in them that could be adjusted to fit your needs. And they had a whole series of art bins, which I have seen online, and I know a lot of crafters really swear by them because they are super adjustable for the kinds of crafting that you do. And they also store really well and travel really well. Art bins come in a variety of sizes, so they even had some that were meant to hold um, Copic markers, which is fabulous if that is something you're into. They have different depths and things like that, also accessories that go within them. So for organizing a craft space specifically with crafts in mind, these are some great storage solutions available. Thank you so much for coming with me today as I have explored the container store. I know some of the prices are a little bit higher at the store, but if it is the perfect storage solution for you, then I say go for it because for me, organization means a lot in my crafting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell notification button so you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. I hope you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.